how does the sort of structure of prize money work and like your experience in downhill? To win a World Cup, the prize money there and then is three and a half thousand um, pounds or euros, mostly euros. Okay. Um, which is obviously like a good chunk of money, but when you put in perspective all the privateers and the amount they go through and the amount of money they spend out of their own savings to get there, um, it just doesn't really justify why you're there. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just not, I don't... Personally... Like, it's like you could literally win and you're still going to lose money. You're still going to lose out. Like, you, you can go there as a privateer, work your ass off all winter, put all your savings into getting there, win a World Cup, and then that not even cover half of what you've had to pay to get there in the first place. So it's pretty savage, but like I've said to you before, it is, it's always so hard to sit there and moan about the best job in the world because it's just not... Yeah, it's getting that balance right, I suppose, isn't it? Because yeah. you're not necessarily saying like you're not happy to do it. It's just saying no. that there it's could just, be improvement. It's like obviously, and then you watch tennis and it's like a bonus of three million. <laughs> but obviously, like you said, like <clears throat> viewers and all that stuff and... I don't know what it would take to kind of um, yeah raise the bar a little bit with mountain biking. Yeah, and I guess um, it sounds like the pay is, is probably actually like one of the only sports that you hear of where this, the pay is actually, or the prize money is the same in the men and the women. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like it's only that because it's just like super low for both rather than... Well, I'm going to have to check because I know... It I know the overall prize money was equaled and Crankworks is equal, yeah. but I'm not sure if the World Cups are equal. So I'm going to have to do my research after this. Um, but it's pretty low, isn't it? Let's yeah. be honest, it's not. For, I think for like, the, for like the scale of what the event actually is, and like you say, it's not like, like you, it, it's easy to compare it to like say tennis or something, but, and it's not necessarily like a, a good mm. comparison because there's obviously more money in it, but the fact that there is actually events like Crankworks yeah. that, not to again from Crankworks, are probably smaller events in terms mm -hmm. of like what the downhill is within Crankworks. And they're paying like, I don't know what yeah, it is, and like they 25 really grand good, yeah, or 15 really grand or something. Money. Considering World Cups is meant to be the elite yeah, of, so the pinnacle of uh, mountain biking and racing. It's literally meant to be the Formula One of mountain biking. And yeah, it just doesn't really, I think the way the UCI go about some of the events and stuff and, you know, prize money and stuff like that doesn't really represent how much effort all the riders put in, you know, whether you're privateer or pro and like all the teams and stuff. So in terms of like that being the, the sort of top spot, do you know like roughly how it gets spread out, like down the positions? So say if you come fifth, what yeah. does that like equate to? It like goes from like all the way down to, over top 15 or top 10 Ooh. and then you get like a tenner <laughs> so it, it drops <coughs> off pretty far yeah but like like i was saying like for me because i'm on a pro team and i have my salary and my sponsors that's something i don't have to worry about yeah whereas like i was saying privateers literally if there were bigger prize money and if it was spread across more it would probably, you know, one, be more attractive for people, like hopefully would bring in more riders to race and maybe push us all on a bit more. But again, we don't turn up. That's not why we race. Yeah. So it's like, it's just so hard to go in and moan about that when you're not there because of that. But you still need to at least have a certain amount of money to yeah. actually get to the races, I suppose. Well, it would be nice to have a little bit more for risking your life every single run. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a hard one to kind of... Yeah, I guess the money does like have to come from somewhere, and as long as like the riders are willing to do it, that's the thing. It's not necessarily going to change. We yeah. happily do it for that money. Um, so I guess it's fine for them to give us that sort of money.